Hey, how's it going everybody? Nas here and you're watching Nostalgic Reviews and today is super freaking special, man. Um, we're gonna be reviewing this, but wait, there's more. Uh, I'm gonna have a story to tell you about this beautiful Porsche, man, and uh, why there's two of them. And even more why these are from two different companies of the same car. They kind of kind of look the same, but they're not. Wait till you see this review, guys. I can't wait to do this. I can't can't wait to uh check this out. Um but yeah, let's get uh let's get this show on the road, man. Wow. Okay. So first and foremost, I decided to buy this. Um I live in Philadelphia. This one's called Philadelphia. This is the RWB 997 by Tarmac Works. This is Ralph Welt Begriff. Uh, very famous uh, automotive, um, I guess, customizer uh, in Japan. But uh, this one is something... I'll tell you why I chose to buy this one. And I will tell you how I have a second one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this one, um, I guess I watched a review, uh, someone doing it. And I really like this one in particular. I love the stance of it. I, uh, there's just something about this particular model, uh, this particular 164 scale model, that I was just like, I gotta have it. So anyway, so Tarmac RWB 997 Philadelphia in red, Hobby 64. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Tarmac for good. Uh, down here we have uh, Smart Size Big Heart, Manufacturer. Da, 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 da. Uh, okay, so uh, I don't know. I don't know. Is it licensed? Is it not? I'm sure it is. It's Tarmac Works. Um, friendly reminder, collector, not lawyer. <laughs> I'm not here for any of that. I'm here for this thing that I'm looking at right here. Ooh, that is even better. All that nasty plastic's gone. Look at this beauty, man. All right, I just got to remind you guys, I am not a Porsche guy per se, but I like them. It's just not like my go-to uh, car or go-to manufacturer or like the car that I'm like drooling over, you know. But the more uh, the more I've been collecting uh, all these amazing collector-grade cars, the more I've been appreciating Porsche more and more. Um, yeah, this one is beautiful, dude. So. Let me, uh, as we uh, check this out. All right, we have a little card in here. Is it a little card? Ooh, wait a minute. Let's uh, tilt this down. There's a little card underneath there. Oh, that's right. Look at that. So Tarmac Works, Rockwell, Big Riff, a uh, little business card. And this is number 642, I guess, uh, out of I don't know how many. <laughs> this certifies once a school model is a limited production model, and you are now a part of our model car revolution. Wow, revolution. Jeez, big words. Wow. Look at that. It's all glossy letters. That's crazy. RWB 997, Philadelphia, 645. Um is, are there 997 of these? I'm not sure what the deal is, but whatever. Here's your record. On record, this is number 645. There you go. So uh, let's have a look-see here, shall we? Okay, sorry for the sound effects. So right away, this base is freaking awesome. Look at that, RWB right there, beautiful matching red. Tarmac right there with the logos. Quality check. Uh, so 
Tarmac Works. Whoever was uh, working this day on the quality check, QC1, uh, let me uh, bring to your attention why I was so saddened by this. You see that rear wheel, right? You see that tire. What is that, man? What is that? What happened? Did he back up into a curb and mess up his wheel? I mean, you know, I'm not like distraught. I'm not whatever. Um, I'm not going to say who the seller was, but I will say that as soon as I send a photo to the seller, they're like, uh, yeah, let us take half, you know, like let us refund you half of what, what you paid and you can keep it if you want. So uh, after kind of counting that up and considering that this is a limited number and it was already the cheapest one I found on eBay, I was like, you know what? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Did this cost me like, you know, uh, 10 bucks, I would say, is what this cost me. So it's okay. You know, maybe one day I'll like uh, take a little knife and kind of even that out so it doesn't catch the eye as much. See, like, it's a pretty jagged, you know, little thing. Let me zoom in. That's better. Right there. So, I don't know. There we go. It's something. But anyway, let's uh, take this off the base and have a look at it a little bit closer. Nice. The uh, rear view mirrors, guys, are not rubber. That's a win in my book. There you go. One screw. Let's have a look, see here. So, I'm not sure, but I think I watched a review and someone said that the wheels didn't roll. That's that's not true. Oh, I guess they don't like they do roll. They're just not like hot wheels track roll. Yeah, see they roll. Yeah, they're a little tight, a little tight, but they're not fixed, which is freaking fantastic. So I don't know. I don't know why that reviewer was uh, talking, what he was talking about, but they do roll. Come down, buddy. <laughs> These are collector grade cars, guys. They're not meant to go down the track. If they do, that's great, but they're not meant for that. So there you go. You have a little uh, writing there can't really make that out you might you have your uh, Rauch world series I love that it's called Philadelphia man like straight up I think that's awesome that's mainly the reason why I bought this got your Rauch welt on the rear window there Little diffusers, aerodynamics, ground effects. The headlights are actually not not just acrylic translucent. There's a little bit of lensing going on there, so that's awesome. I like that. Very nice. So yeah, you have letters on the wheels very detailed uh wow they are tiny oh there you go there's your close-up to the uh busted up rim oh that is a big old chunk taken out of there jeez but with that being said as you can see crazy detail like it says the rwb on the little um rim there the five spoke you have your uh disc brakes caliper what else we got here i'll show you the better side <laughs> Yeah, that is cool. It says Phila right there. I'm really digging this, man. Look at that. Philadelphia 19. What do we have on the bottom here? Well, let's zoom out. Uh, zoom out, yeah. We have Tarmac Works, 164 RWB 997. Beautiful chrome exhaust. A 
Okay. So as you can see, this thing's awesome, man. Uh, I'm really digging it. Um, yeah, I was bummed out, but you know what? For like nine, ten bucks that I got this for, like with shipping included, um, I think it's okay to uh, just be like, all right, whatever. So maybe one day I'll find like a replacement wheel for that or do something with it. I don't know. Maybe like pushing out the rubber might hide it a little bit more. I don't know. Whatever. No big deal, really. Uh, a little bit of a deal, but no, not big deal. <laughs> so, okay. So let's, uh, let's have a look at the other one. Tun, tun, tun. So this is really cool. So the other one is this one, also RWV, Philadelphia. This one is by Ralph World. <laughs> this one is by nobody. Uh, yeah, it just tells you the collaboration. Ralph Belgrave, Japan official product, designed in Japan, made in China. Uh, limited availability as well. Okay, not suitable for okay, good to know. So, um, yeah, not sure what's going on here. Uh, I would love to uh, take this opportunity again to thank uh, my friend um, Vic. He is the man because uh, me and him talk often about diecast and stuff like that. He's my homie. And uh, he also sells uh, Diecast on diecastcrepo.com. Check him out. Use my uh, code NOSTALGIC. Get yourself 15% off. But anyway, um, what happened was, like, I send him a photo of this. Like, yo, bro, look what I got. You know, like, and he's like, oh, cool. I have one of those. And I'm like, really? Because usually I'll try to buy from him first. But uh, uh, I didn't see it on his website or anything. So he's like, oh, no, I have one. I was like, all right, cool, man. But then, like, I showed him a photo, and I'm like, no, man, they're they're different. Like, you know, mine's tarmac, yours is uh, this one. He's like, oh, shit. So, so he didn't know either, so I was like, all right, cool. Um, but yeah, I was like, man, bitching to him about how, like, this is messed up. And for one second, he thought that, like, I bought it from him. So he's like, dude, I'm going to send you another one. Don't worry about it. I'm like, no, 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 dude, it's not from you. I didn't buy this from you. <laughs> so my man just straight up just sent me one he's like you know what man here take this make a review compare them see what happens i was like uh, okay i'm not gonna say no so vic shout out to you my man thank you so much so um yeah like this really bummed me out but uh you know thank god they gave me half half of my refund back and let me keep the car and my boy vic freaking sent me another one and we'll uh we'll do a little comparison here and review it for you guys so Ah, uh, so that's that's done. That's over. Cool. All right. So since that's already ripped, dang it. It's okay. I'm not a box collector, so I preserve the boxes strictly for transportation reasons. So there you go. There's a really nice background there that just says straight up Philadelphia. Again, compared open boxes right there. Carmack and this mystery manufacturer here. Okay, so I'm kind of curious. I mean, I'm just trying to see if this has um, Ralph World anywhere on here. Well, it does on the visor right here, up here. So that's the tarmac one, obviously. So this one has that all over. So, all right, so kind of uh, much different um, base as well. We'll take a look at that after I take the car off. So this is Ralph Belgraf. Doesn't say anything on... Uh, Limited edition, neither does the tarmac one. I can already tell this is a little different. Ah, okay, let's um, plastic mirrors, perfect. Let's get this off the base. I wanna freaking oh, I need a different screwdriver. Hold on, okay, hyperspeed. I have to freaking rattle around while you're storing 
while you're displaying the car. Okay, so let's compare this to the uh, Tarmac Works one. Tarmac Works is a little like very simple, but it's beautifully designed. Like that's I love this. So this mystery uh, base is very fancy. You have uh, kind of smoky, clear-ish acrylic on the bottom, and then sandwiched on top is this beautiful, like milky white, uh, like milky white. I guess also acrylic. <laughs> so there you go, a little sandwich there. This feels nice and like heavy, legit. Interesting. So yeah, there's your two bases. Uh, okay, wait. We need to uh, do this properly. Okay, so there we go. Let's. Oh, this is a lot lighter. Whoa. Oh, this one doesn't have spinning wheels. Okay, so now I get it. So, oh wow. Okay. Just want to make sure I don't mess these up. Wow. So this is this is resin model. Damn, dude, Vic, you baller, <laughs> bro. Thank you. Wow, this is so much lighter. So Tarmac Works is diecast with spinning wheels and mystery model is actually a resin model which is light with stationary wheels yeah that that don't spin so this whole time i thought the tarmac model was the one that didn't have spinning wheels this is why we review things and watch review videos, folks. <laughs> so let's see. We have obviously beautifully translucent rear taillights here. Beautiful translucent headlights. I don't see too much uh, lensing on there. So they're just clear plastic. Very nicely detailed. These little air scoops are just insanely tiny look how skinny they are that is so cool go away schmutz yeah all these vents are now i understand why resin models are like way better you can get so much more detail in there wow including my fingernails where are all my little things anyway i don't need to clean this right now Okay, so let's uh okay, let's have a look see. All right. So tarmac, this is tarmac. So oh, so no Porsche badge on this resin model. License plates are the same. Interesting. Almost looks like a different model Porsche in a way. Ah, it doesn't have the uh, the black uh, scoop here. Interesting. Very different. Okay, let's look at the silhouettes here. Silhouettes are also different. A little bit. Huh. Okay. Oh, okay. Here we go. We're a little. Let's put these. Let's sandwich these bad boys together to really tell the difference. Okay. Wow. So look at the front uh, license plate. As you can see, this one sticks out. This one's kind of stuck on there much thicker uh white uh what you call it scoops the resin model doesn't have as much detail on the wheels even though they don't move no letters no lettering on the tire no lettering on the rim itself wow i'm enjoying this review dude these are 
supposedly the same, but they are not. Look at the interior. Tarmac Works has uh, the red, the white. It actually has a roll cage. This doesn't even have a roll cage. Interesting. So many differences. All right, let's have a look at the the duck. Oh, that is way different. Look at the duck bill here. Look how different those are. These are different model Porsches, man. Look at how different these are. This is totally like wider. The whole like different body kit on here. This one's like tiny, skinny, completely different design here. Huh. Okay. That is cool. Okay, let's see what's on the bottom here. Whoa! Even the exhaust is different. Look at all this. That is crazy, dude. Talk about the difference between manufacturer, the detail, and all that good stuff. Ah, man. I wonder why they don't have the front... Uh, front lip, the scoop thing. Very interesting. Yeah, that rear is so different. It's a completely different wing. I'm sure some of you Porsche guys, uh, I I invite you <laughs> to uh, school us all on the differences here. But this almost feels like it's not even a RWB here. Uh, those rolling wheels won't let me keep them together. All right, so it almost looks like we have a mirror image here, but it is not. <laughs> that is cool looking though. See this black part here? There's nothing there. It's even like angled a little differently. But what really throws me off is the rear here. That is such a different wing, completely different. Definitely worth having both. Oh yeah, I didn't even, uh, so this one has a moon roof. This one has nothing. So yeah, interesting, interesting. I'm freaking having fun here. Dude, I am nerding out on these Porsches here. Such different castings, such different cars. It's not even funny. Yeah, Tarmac Works definitely wins here. 100%. Just stupid quality check. QC1, you suck. Thanks for this messed up wheel. Oh yeah, we're in the wrong hand here. There we go. So yeah. So there you go, guys. There's your review and comparison. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Um, I know I did, man. I really freaking enjoyed this. This resin thing is such a weird feeling when it's such a light car. It's cool though. It does look awesome. Don't get me wrong. Um, I, I like it. But, and you wouldn't know like all this stuff if you just got this car. And I'm not sure like how much that is. Uh, the Tarmac Works usually goes for like 30 bucks on average. Uh, definitely not what I paid. <laughs> Well, you know what I paid. I paid about 10 bucks for it because of this stupid chip. But uh, yeah, Vic, thank you for this. This this like this made one of the like most enjoyable review videos I've done in a while. As far as I'm concerned, hopefully you guys liked it. But yeah, this rear wing is really messing with me. It's such a it's just different. Just completely, completely different. All right. Roll cage, everything. More detail on the inside. Tarmac, you kicked butt, buddy. All right. So there it is, guys. Let's uh, put these right there. That's what that was. Tarmac and mystery. So yeah, there you go. That'll uh, that'll do it, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed this little uh, review. Um, 
that's what these were. This is awesome. All right, I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to like play with these and look at them more. I'm sure I'm going to catch way more differences. But uh, let me know down below, which one do you choose? Uh, the tarmac or this, you know, one or two? One, two. Which one do you like more? I mean, <laughs> I told you what I like more. Uh, it's definitely a plus to have both of these. Um, but yeah, neither of them are rollers, but at least this one can pretend. <laughs> so yeah, all right. Okay, I'm, I, I'm Audi2000. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, peace and love, everybody. Bwah.